Hello everybody! We're back with more Oblivion, finally! Um, for those that don't know, my hard drive a while ago basically got completely corrupted or something and I lost all my saves and stuff, so um, I had to create a new Oblivion file, a new character, so I don't have all the same crap that I did before but we're just gonna take the quest from where we left off last. Martin uh, wanted us to get a Daedric artifact, which means you can go do an, uh, just about any Daedric shrine quest you want. Um, problem is, if you're doing it like me at an early level, I'm only level 2, you're somewhat limited to what quests you can do because a lot of them are level dependent and you have to be higher level to do it. Plus, a lot of the quests have very valuable items, and once you give that Daedric artifact to Martin, you won't get it back, so you gotta make sure the one that you're giving him is one you don't want and one that is somewhat useless. One of those items is Clavicus Vile. Um, he's a Daedric Prince, or God or something, and uh, this is his shrine. He's like a little kid almost, or a midget or something, and uh, he has a giant dog, I guess, um, and you have to be level 20 to do his quest, but I'm only level 2. Watch what happens if I try to do his quest. Demands a powerful champion, yes, you have to be level 20. But that's okay, we're still gonna do his quest anyway, because his item is useless, and you can do his quest... Um, at a lower level. So what you have to do, um, is you don't have to bother talking to him or doing anything, because you're not gonna get anywhere if you're not level 20. You just have to head due east from his shrine, and there will be an Aeliad or something... I think it's Aeliad Ruins, um... Due east, and you can see it down on the compass there. So my guy is a Nord. I'm pretty sure that's what I had last time. I haven't even watched my videos. I don't even remember anything, so... I don't care. We're doing the quests and stuff. That's all that matters, and... Um, I also want to get the main quest completed before Skyrim comes out. So, we're going to have Oblivion Mania until Skyrim comes out, which is on the 11th. So, here it is. Vindicel is the name of the uh, ruin. So I'm just going to save before I go in, because I have had... Um, earlier when I was playing this to catch up in the main quest, I did have a few freezes, so... That's not uncommon in this game, but... It just sucks, so... Vindicel is not a hard ruin to... Uh, Go through, it's very straightforward, small, um, I think, and, uh, just mud crabs and crap. And that, uh, that rat just got owned. As you can see there, um, you don't want to go in that area. Where's that rat? There you are. Couldn't you have fallen down there? Sheesh. Oh, shit, that was close. The enemies that you fight will not be difficult, um... Until we get to the last room where um, Clavicus Vile wants you to get a certain uh, sword called Umbra. It's a very special sword. Um, and so he wants us to get him that. And uh, not too difficult. Ow, I just got gassed. Yeah, well, there's traps in here and crap, so... Use them to your advantage so you can kill enemies without having to really, uh, do anything. What is this rat? There you are. Oh man, fearsome beast. The rat. Can I grab this? Dang it. Can't grab anything from there, so... Thought it had one of those stones. There's special stones that you can get in, uh... Aeliad Ruins, but apparently that's not. Die! There, alright, that was easy. So, I think we're almost to the Room of Doom. Oh, yep, there he is. So there's a guy in here, and he calls himself Umbra, although I don't think that's his actual name. Um, he's not initially hostile, so you don't have to worry about, uh... Although, he does not want us here. That's okay. We're going to, uh, first loot... Oh my gosh. We're, we're gonna first loot some crap here. Ah! I prefer to manually lockpick over auto. 
because it's not random. Auto lock picking is random. So, it's, well, it's not random. It's based on your skill, but you know, I like to have control over my shiz. So I'm really, 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 really excited for Skyrim. I mean, I am so excited. Um, I may even day one LP. I don't, I'm not a fan of LPing a game right away, but I kind of want to. I'm, I'm just putting crap in a fire right now, if you can't tell. You know what? You can shut up. Now, he has really special armor. Actually, you have boobs. So are you a dude or a girl? Yes. Oh, you're a girl. Like it hungers for souls. Right. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna get sneaky here. Okay. I'm gonna take my boots off because uh, my sneak skill is not that high. I'm gonna go up against the wall here. Now we could uh, spam this and get our sneak skill super high by just walking up against the wall while there's an there's a person nearby. Like, see how my sneak skill is just going up by doing this? I'll fudge. She's in that I know where you are, but I can't see you mode. I'm gonna try and pickpocket the sword here. Oh wait, you can't do that. There's a sword, it's glowing. Alright. Take a deep breath because Umbra is a tough opponent. I need to put my boots back on. Anything that I can use to help myself. Notice all the rings that I have, kind of ridiculous, but uh... What does this guy do? Frost damage? I, I, I could totally enchant my sword with that, uh, sigil stone. Hmm. Yes. We can change the name of the enchanted item, although I'll just be like... Babo. That's what we'll call it, Babo. Alright, so we just enchanted a sword with frost damage. So now we can uh, do extra damage. Don't walk around like that, you loser. I can't pickpocket the dang sword. Alright, that's it. Let's go, let's go. She's a tough... Oh my gosh. Yeah, see what I mean? Tough. That sword does a lot of damage. And you gotta be careful because, like, I'm gonna start using potions. Actually, I should probably... Uh, do this. You gotta be extra. Oh crap! I just got knocked on my back butt thing face. All right, so we're just using her healing. She likes to heal as well. Let's just uh, see how we can do this. She's a very tough customer. Crusty crab pizza. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost got this. Almost got this, guys. Oh my gosh, please drink. Alright. Um. Let's see. Ooh, Nordic Frost. Oh, yeah! Woo! I just clapped at a video game. Okay, um. She also has a crap load of armor, but it weighs a lot. Let's see, what can I put away? I don't need a... Well, how much damage is that? How much... Well, I'm way over encumbered here. Way over encumbered. What can I get rid of that's obscenely heavy? Well, let's see. I don't need... Greaves because I don't wear pants. So do I need I don't need that guy. Oh yeah, sweet, I'm walking away with some armor. 
Oh wait, I was going to try and heal myself. Sweet. Alright, how do I get out of here? Can't see anything. There we go. Alright, I'm excited. We're going to go get our, uh, get our reward for, uh, our Daedric Artifact from Clavicus Vile. You don't give us a helmet that's pretty worthless, um, in my opinion. You don't really... It gives you, like, it boosts your personality skill, which, or personality attribute, which is probably one of the least valuable attributes in the game. So... Spiderweb, oh my god! Alright. Well, that was a fun little quest trip thing, and, uh... Let's, uh, not fall into the trap of doom. Is there anything over here? No. Oh, no! Alright, I'm going to cut the part off right as we get outside. There we go. I'm Jammer1031. Next time, we will, uh, get our Daedric Artifact. See you all around.